how to seed a lawn from scratch. We're going to be talking about the step-by-step -step process on how to seed a new lawn or overseed an existing lawn from scratch and all the products you'll need, including how to work out how much seed you'll need to put down, what the right weather conditions are to look out for and when to cut it after your first mow. This video is a follow on from my lawn renovation challenge series. If you haven't yet followed the first couple of videos from that series, I've linked the playlist in the card from above. But the idea behind this series is that you can follow along each step of the renovation process and apply it to your lawn at home. And all the products I'm using are linked in the description below if you want to check out any prices or cost up a renovation project. At this step, we're going to start thinking about ordering our raw materials working out what the process we're going to follow to apply those raw materials such as uh, seed and uh, top dressing and calculating exactly how much we're going to need. Before we order any products we're going to need to work out how many square meters our area is that needs to be covered. You can do this by simply measuring the area times the length by the width. In my case for the front lawn it's going to be 4.6 by 8.8 .8 meters which gives approximately 40 square meters. This is important because a lot of products that you apply will all reference their application rates in grams per square meterage. So we need to know this to work out how much product to buy and how much product to apply onto the lawn. The product I'm using tells me to apply at a rate of between 20 and 35 grams per square meter. So if I work this out, that's going to be 40 meters squared times by 35 grams per meter, which gives 1,440 grams. That's roughly one and a half kilos of seed. We're also applying a pre-seed fertilizer at the same rate, which is 1.4 grams of fertilizer. So the first thing about sowing seed is we should avoid sowing seed if there's a likelihood of frost or drought. Also to avoid seed in periods of blue sky weather unless a sprinkler system can be used because the soil needs to be constantly moist during the germination period. That's why a lot of recommendations is to seed during the spring and the autumn because the weather generally is more favourable for seeding during those points. It is possible to seed outside of those areas but the grass isn't generally growing at its most vigorous rate and also it will need additional care in terms of keeping the seed and the ground moist especially in the summer period. When the conditions are right it's then time to prepare the ground. The soil should not be too compact at this stage and the top one to two inches needs to be worked into a fine tilth. The area also needs to be level and free from weeds or large stones. We covered removal of weeds in the previous episode which I've linked above. If you're going to put down a pre-seed fertiliser this needs to be put around around a week before the seed and if there's been no rainfall this should be watered in a couple of times into the area. You can also use this same product as a post seeder when overseeding and apply it two weeks after the initial germination at the same rate and water in. A really good tip to note of how much fertiliser to put down is to mark out a smaller area first and apply the relevant quantities. We're going to be covering the full application method in a future video, so please subscribe to the channel so you can be kept up to date for that. Once you have an even distribution of the product, it needs to be worked into the soil. It's vitally important with seed and it will greatly reduce any bird take. This will also help keep the seed in contact with the soil. A really good way of doing this is by using the back of a rake and riddling it into the soil until most of the seed has disappeared. The seed can take anywhere between 7 to 21 days to germinate depending on what type of uh, seed mix that you're using. It also depends on soil temperatures and moisture levels. The really key thing about sowing seed is you need to keep it moist. I would recommend that you put a moisture plan in place such as a sprinkler system um, and also you can check the weather forecast in the future to make sure that the conditions are favourable for sowing seed. 
When the new grass height has reached a length of around 2 to 3 inches, it's time to give it a first cut. At this point, you don't want to be cutting it too short. Only take a small section off the top of the grass tips to leave plenty of growth. At this point, cutting the grass down to the ground could seriously damage anything that you've sowed. In terms of materials you're going to need to buy, you're going to need to obviously buy some grass seed like we've calculated at the start of this video. You're going to need some top dressing, which is usually a blend, say 70, 30 of sand and uh, screeded topsoil. And lastly, I'm also going to be using some pre-seed fertilizer. If you need a bit of hand, everything that I'm using is in the description below. The main point of this video was discussing the process that we're going to follow, trying to identify favourable conditions and ordering all the raw materials that you're going to need for the job. Subscribe if you like this video and leave me a comment down below. A lot of people have been posting uh, videos and pictures of their lawn renovation projects on my Twitter, my Facebook page. So if you're attempting a project like this, please send me some pictures to show me how you're getting along. And lastly, subscribe to the channel. The next video in the playlist is going to be something that you can do while you're waiting for the delivery of all the materials. So I look forward to seeing you there. In the meantime, here's some other videos that you might like.